Hey, how's it going? Guys, this is Tebow with Fast by Few. We're over here. We just got done with this build. It's a 2022 CRF 450R Works Edition. Um, this bike is brand, brand new. Um, Motor-wise, we had some problems when we first got it. Uh, had a crank lock up, I think, 10 hours in. So we went ahead and we rebuilt the crank. We went to a Wasner plane bearing billet rod and we have a 14 5 to 1 compression CP piston. We're using the stock cam. Um, power band on this bike's really good. Um, comes, with the, comes with the Yoshimura, obviously from the factory. So while we were doing the motor, we went ahead and we completely stripped the chassis. Um, we got this thing done at uh, Southwest Cerakote in El Paso, Texas. They did the entire frame. Um, we did the outer cases, we did the inner cases, we did the cylinder, the head. Um, and then if you look on our master cylinders, clutch, our brake, our clutch, um, our calipers, everything is sour coated on this bike. Um, everything. And then uh, we got we got the radiator braces. We got those powder coated black. Um, we we're gonna do Cerakote, but we just ran out of time, so did did that. Um, I went ahead and I am a K Tech distributor and a dealer and service center. So we are running um, K Tech uh, suspension valving on the front end of this bike. Um, all the Showa 49s are all, for the most part, identical. So, we, we put basically their basic setting in this thing and it feels amazing. Um, our rider, his name is CJ Chaparro. He's getting ready, he's gonna take it out for the first ride. A um, cu Couple of the other things that we did do to this bike. We have the carbon fiber tank shroud and then we went ahead and went with carbon fiber frame guards. We went with this because uh, nobody has it in America. So we wanted to build a more of like a GP style bike that uh, just looks cool. Um, we'll see how, how they hold up. We'll probably uh, do like a 10 hour review and a 20 hour review just to kind of see how everything goes. Um, another cool mod that we did is we ordered a hour meter off Amazon. I believe it was $20 and it has a really cool feature. It has a temperature probe. One of the biggest problems with dirt bike riders is they do not warm up their bike and their motors melt. I will tell you that your motor will last probably five times longer if you just let it warm up. It's a really cool feature. I've been doing it for a hundred years or so. Man, dirt bikers, I have seen so many dirt bikers as soon as they start their bikes they just start revving them and uh, they just I mean it just eats up the motor so we got a temperature probe so we're gonna start introducing a warm-up feature for mr. CJ over here he uh, he's ready so if you come over here and come take a look at it um, I have everything in Celsius because I, I refuse to go to the Imperial system so we're gonna let this thing warm up and uh, we'll let it warm up to about 40 degrees Celsius and, uh, and then we'll know that she's ready to be ridden. So right now we're at 23. Let's give it a quick little warm up and let you guys hear it. <laughs> ever want to see uh, if you're into dirt bikes and you ever want to be like how do I tell if I have a works edition you can actually come over here and look into the cylinder head zoom in right here the works edition comes with the works edition engraved and then also in the serial number it'll have it on the vent plate so if you look CRF 450 RWE so And then for future mods, we are going to be getting some 
different. Uh, we're going to be getting some X trig triple trees. We're also going to be getting uh, different engine brackets. Um, we're going to we're going to try and find some flexibility in the chassis. The Honda chassis is extremely rigid, and uh, we're also going to get some really nice wheels for this thing. Um, I don't know what yet, um, but we'll we'll do something cool. We'll do some we'll do some really nice ones. Um, we're gonna go with some different bars also. Right now, this thing does have the stock bars. The stock bars they're a little low because our rider he's six foot two, so it, it has them over the front of the bike a little bit, but um, he should be all right because he's he's a pro. Um, we're gonna also be getting a set of probably some really nice like high grabbing uh, foot pegs and uh, yeah.